Well, good afternoon, GBC. The smoke is gone, almost. The weather is turning, kind of. And it is time for another PastorCast. Well, family, it is Thursday, September 17th. Good afternoon. I just have a few announcements for you as we get into the weekend. First of all, I want to talk about our outdoor services. Now, the weather has cleared, so it looks like we're going to be able to have both our courtyard services in the morning as well as our evening service at Fair Oaks Church. A couple things you want to keep in mind regarding our courtyard services. Most of you should have received an email from Don Payne, which has a link that you can register for our courtyard services. Now, if you didn't get that email or if it got shoved into a spam folder or you deleted it for whatever reason, you can go to courtyard.graceforus.org and register to be there at our courtyard services at 9 a.m. Another bonus is that because we can, we are setting up 100 chairs outdoors so you can attend. It's going to be a great time. You'll be able to sing, pray together, hear from the Word, and fellowship with one another. Our second outdoor service is going to be at Fair Oaks Church in Concord, California. And again, this is the regular outdoor service that we've been having. This The same rules apply. Bring your own chair. Make sure you wear your mask. If you need to bring some water or something like that, go ahead and bring it. So please come and fellowship with us. One of the things that a number of you might be thinking, because I know I've thought it, is why do I want to go to church and watch on TV what is going on inside the church while I'm stuck outside in the courtyard? Or why do I want to go in the evening to a small service when I could simply watch the morning service, either rebroadcasted or live, again, from my home, on my couch, with my cup of coffee, sitting in my PJs. Well, family, I think that there is more to church than just the sermon and maybe some singing, that we are designed to be in fellowship. In fact, as Christians, we need to be in each other's lives. I need to hear you singing. You need to hear one another praying. We all need to sit under the authority of the Word, and frankly, I need to hear a few amens when I hear a point that just hammers the gospel into a sermon. So I would encourage you to join us on one of our outdoor services. Join us at 9 o'clock. There's plenty of space. So far, the max we've had is 35 people. Now we have a space for 100 people. You can you can see there's going to be a great viewing angle on on any of the TVs that we have out there. You'll be able to hear over the traffic. I would encourage you to come, sing with us, worship the Lord, hear from His Word with us together. We need one another. I need you. We need each other. So I would encourage you to make use of any of those two options for outdoor gatherings as you are able. Just a couple of events I want to make you aware of. Ladies, we do have a very active Women of Grace group that is meeting. We have Bible studies that are kicking off this week. Some of them already happened today, but there's still plenty of room. And so if you want to be a part of our Thursday Bible study for, for the ladies, go ahead and call the church office. They'll get you connected to the right people. Secondly, we are starting that very same Bible study on Saturday at 8 a.m. And again, if you want details, contact the church office via our telephone, which is, again, 925 Six seven six one five eight four, or email us at gbc at graceforus.org. Second thing I'd like to bring to your attention is Operation Christmas Joy. It's still coming up. Yes, I know. We don't want to be thinking about Christmas right now, but I want you thinking about how you can partner with Samaritan's Purse to bring the gospel to children who are many of whom are in unreached countries, but they're in need. And you can be a part of that by either choosing to pack a box physically or you can do so virtually online. And again, you can raid Walmart right now, Target. You can raid the dollar stores. They're still flush with items that you could send to a needy child. Secondly, you could go and pack a virtual shoebox on Operation Christmas Child's website. And you can take advantage of this great opportunity, again, to partner with Samaritan's Purse as they reach out to those who are suffering those various suffering communities around the world with the gospel. Well, family, that is it for today. A uh, real short pastor cast. I hope that we'll be seeing you in the courtyard or at Fair Oaks on Sunday. Uh, again, the courtyard service, 9 a.m., Fair Oaks Church, 4 p.m. for our evening service. Encourage you to be there. Miss you. Love you. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>